The cold was a killer. It crept into your bones and stayed there. Imagine being a young soldier, barely out of your teens, huddled in a frozen foxhole in the Ardennes forest, December 1944. The air hurts to breathe, your blanket is stiff with ice, and you watch your breath crystallize, reminders that you're slowly freezing. This wasn't just discomfort, it was a battle for survival against an enemy you couldn't see or shoot. The cold claimed more men than bullets. Frostbite and hypothermia were rampant and the standard gear was failing. Wool once wet became heavy and useless pulling heat from your body. Staying dry was impossible in the mud and snow. Soldiers fought two wars, one against the enemy, another against the brutal cold. Every sunrise was a victory. Then, a few resourceful units stumbled on something extraordinary, not official kit, not designed for warmth, but packing material. Lightweight, crinkly, used to protect sensitive equipment. At first, it lined foxholes, then someone wrapped it around their body. The effect was immediate, a game changer. This forgotten material became a lifeline, a shield against the elements. Human ingenuity turned packing dunnage into survival gear. In the frozen hell of the Ardennes, this accidental discovery saved countless lives. Sometimes, survival comes from the most unexpected places. To understand why this discovery mattered, you have to know the situation in late 1944. The Allied advance after D-Day was stalling, supply lines were stretched thin, the German counter-offensive, the Battle of the Bulge, hit as winter turned brutal, soldiers were sent to the front with gear for autumn, not arctic blizzards. The standard field jacket and wool blankets were no match for the cold, supplies were delayed, trucks stuck, and men suffered. The cold became a weapon, taking out tens of thousands, without a shot fired. The military faced a crisis, traditional methods failed and official channels were clogged, innovation was born of desperation, the need for a better insulator was urgent, a matter of survival. The army that kept its soldiers warm would win. Standard gear failed, supply lines broke, and winter tightened its grip. Soldiers had to adapt or die. They turned to a material never meant for them. Sometimes, the best solutions come from the front lines, not the top brass. The hero here wasn't a person, but a material, just that crinkly stuff to the soldiers. Officially, it was a synthetic fiber foil composite used as dunnage for sensitive cargo. Lightweight, shock absorbent, and moisture proof, it was never meant to be worn. But desperate soldiers improvised. Maybe a GI noticed it felt warm, or a group used it to line a dugout. Unlike wool, it was light and didn't absorb water. Rain and snow rolled off, keeping its insulating power. Wrapped under a coat, it blocked wind and trapped heat. It was noisy, but it worked, trapping body heat with surprising efficiency. Soldiers hoarded and traded it. A sheet became more valuable than chocolate or cigarettes. It was a secret weapon, passed by word of mouth. Not official issue, but the best survival gear they had. In the coldest days, this accidental insulator made all the difference. Sometimes the right material at the right time changes everything. Ingenuity turned trash into treasure. Survival is about seeing potential where others see nothing. Why was this packing material better than wool? The answer is in heat transfer. Wool traps air, but fails when wet or compressed. The synthetic insulator resisted moisture and compression, keeping air pockets intact. Even wet, it stayed effective. No heat sucked away by the ground. The real secret, a reflective foil layer, bouncing your body's radiant heat back. Like a modern space blanket, it used your own energy to keep you warm. Wool only slows heat loss, this reflected it. Lightweight moisture-proof, wind-resistant, and reflective, it was a technical marvel. Soldiers stayed warmer, drier, and more alert. Fewer cold injuries meant more men in the fight. This wasn't just comfort, it was survival. The best gear is sometimes improvised, not issued. In war, performance is measured by who makes it through the night. The real proof is in the stories from the men who used it. A private in the 101st Airborne, surrounded in Bastonia, wrapped scraps around his boots, his toes thawed, his feet saved, 
Forward observers lined their posts with it, staying on mission twice as long. Lightweight, it let them move faster and carry more ammo. The material became legendary, worth more than a German Luger. Soldiers risked their lives to scavenge it from wrecks. It became currency a bootliner for a week's rations, a full sheet for almost anything. It wasn't just warmth, it was a tactical edge. Warmer soldiers were more alert, more mobile, and more effective. Fewer frostbite cases meant more men ready to fight. Morale soared with this secret weapon. Improvised gear changed the outcome of battles. Sometimes, survival is about what you find, not what you're given. The right material, at the right time, can turn the tide. Let's look at the science behind this insulator. It was a composite, a mat of synthetic fibers bonded to reflective foil. The fibers trapped air, resisting heat loss by convection and conduction. Unlike wool, these plastics didn't absorb water. The real innovation was the foil. Thin aluminum, reflecting up to 80% of body heat. The outer layers blocked wind and water. The core trapped air. The foil bounced heat back. It was a complete thermal system in one lightweight package. This technology didn't die in 1945. NASA's space blankets and modern insulations like Primaloft are direct descendants. The DNA of today's survival gear traces back to this forgotten wartime innovation. Sometimes, battlefield improvisation shapes the future. The best ideas survive, even if the original story is lost. High-tech warmth started with a simple crinkly sheet. If it worked so well, why did it disappear? Cost and complexity, this wasn't a simple textile, but a composite needing special manufacturing. In peacetime, budgets shrank and the military returned to cheap, mass-produced wool. The material was never formalized, no official reports, just stories from the front. Factories retooled for civilian goods, and the knowledge faded as soldiers went home. Bureaucracy favored standardization, wool was easier to order and track. The innovation was grassroots, not top-down. Records were lost or filed under packaging, not gear. The Korean War saw a return to old habits. The miracle material became a footnote, waiting to be rediscovered. Sometimes the best solutions are forgotten when the crisis ends, but their legacy lives on in modern gear. The story of this forgotten insulator holds lessons for anyone venturing into the wild. The key, think smarter, not heavier. Bulk doesn't equal warmth, intelligent materials do. Modern gear, fleece, waterproof shells, space blankets, owes its existence to this legacy. Always improvise. The soldiers didn't wait for perfect gear. They used what they had. Survival is about seeing potential in everything. A trash bag can be a poncho. A sunshade can reflect heat. Pack with purpose. Know why each item matters. Stay dry. Block wind. Trap air. Reflect heat. The hard lessons of W1 gave us today's incredible gear. Don't take it for granted. Ingenuity and adaptation are your best tools. The right mindset is as important as the right equipment. Learn from the past. Survive the future. The final lesson is a call to action. Adopt a mindset of innovation and resourcefulness. Don't wait for perfect solutions. Adapt and experiment. The soldiers survived because they saw opportunity in the unexpected. Apply this to your own life. Understand your gear. Question assumptions. And seek smarter ways. True preparedness is knowledge, not just equipment. This spirit extends beyond survival. Approach every problem with curiosity and creativity. The greatest breakthroughs come from seeing potential, where others see waste. A packing material became a lifesaver. A simple idea changed everything. Stay curious. Question the status quo. And improvise. The ability to adapt is the ultimate survival skill. Remember the soldiers who turned trash into a shield against the cold. Let their ingenuity inspire you. Be resourceful, be smart, and never underestimate a good idea. The next innovation might be hiding in plain sight. Now get out there and explore.